okay everyone how you guys doing welcome to my channel um, today I'm just uh, setting up the audio uh, basically for this event I'm just doing sound engineering now for this setup they requested about uh, six lapels and four handhelds and two lectrons and an audio playback from Mac Pro for the VTs for the videos and stuff uh, the in-house microphone can only cater up to four lapels uh, so what I'm doing is this I'm just installing two more lapels and the receiver I'm installing as close to the stage area because uh, they haven't got uh, uh, or they haven't got a uh, uh, audio amplification distribution unit for the uh, RF antennas uh, so unfortunately I have to use the receivers uh, that comes with the lapel microphones as uh, RF receivers but I'm gonna install those receivers as close to the stage area so once the speaker the presenter is transmitting the audio the receiver is just near as near to them not back in the control room so I'll just show you what I'm doing so guys have a look uh, this is the lectern table and this is the stage area I've opened the tiles and stuff and that's the control room from where I'm gonna be operating the audio uh, for this event uh, but those two RF uh, receivers uh, I'm gonna install it on top of that screen and uh, the screen is basically gonna be there it's a comfort monitor uh, so if the presenter is standing here at the lectern and uh, then whatever they're transmitting RF flies then the RF uh, receiver it can pick up if I install those RF there then about 250 people in this uh, venue sitting down uh, and having mobile phones turned on and whatever then I I can have some kind of interference so I just don't want to take any risk and as I said there are two antennas installed at the back but they haven't uh, they haven't got an extra uh, amplification distribution unit for the RF uh, so I'm stuck with those two but this is the quickest and finest solution I can come up with all right guys uh, so have a look I've installed those two RF receivers just right beside this uh, 42 inch or 40 inch NEC screen uh, now if you are in same scenario and you want to do the similar thing uh, just make sure that if you happen to do this then don't install the RF receivers right beside to a big screen like a hundred inch uh, LCD or LED screen because uh, then you're gonna get uh, EMI eh, or electromagnetic interference probably picked up by the RF receivers so I wouldn't recommend installing it beside a big 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 screen uh, but for this type of screen I mean it's all right it's not producing a lot of EMI uh, so that's fine but have a look so it's now closer to the stage so next time I'm just gonna go and test it okay everyone so I'm just gonna start first with the lectern and uh, my friend Chris will help me out okay Chris if you can speak into the lectern please okay I'm just going to apply high pass filter. At uh, about 80 hertz. There you go. And uh, less rest of the EQ, I'll just do it uh, during the live event once the uh, presenters, they will start speaking according to their voice projection okay okay yeah leave the electron on and uh, handheld one now please so I've got four handhelds yeah 
Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Touching the future. Just gonna Welcome to the crystal. turn on high pass filter as well. I did you hear it? Okay. Yep. Handheld two now, please. So just gonna copy the EQ now to handheld three, four, uh, two, three, and four. So copy, copy, and uh, just gonna go to handheld two, and then just paste. Are you sure? Yes, sure. Okay, number three, please. Gonna go number three now, and uh, paste the EQ as well. <laughs> Two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Three, one, two. That's fine. Leave it on. And number four, please. One, two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Crystal Sustainable Cities Initiative from Sydney. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Okay, Chris, lapel one, please, now. And uh, basically, I'm using from la lapel two to four, and then I've connected uh, two lapels down there. Uh, I showed you the installation of the two receivers. So they are on a different channel. So, sorry, lapel two. Yeah, so lapel two, yeah? Okay. Okay. The level of on it is a bit too low, so I'm going to increase it a bit. And let me just turn on the EQ, so paste. And and, uh, so the way it works is it has got a feature called sends on phaser so I'll switch send on faders and then I'll select the ceiling speakers for this which is number five because the microphones they are coming out of number five and okay if you speak So there you go, I've applied about about 4 dB. There you go. Okay, lapel 3 please. Just going to switch off send on faders now. And leave one on. Yeah, keep, uh, Chris, if you can keep these separate from the handhelds. And you can place them on top of the monitor screen, please. So lapel 2 is on and it's just right on the monitor screen. Yeah, so, so this is lapel 3, right? Oh, wow. This is quite hot. Uh, this is AKG? Okay, if you switch it off and turn it back on, it will show you what is the input gain. Is it set to zero or is it higher? It's plus 20, right? Okay, that's fine. I'll adjust that from the receiver because that's the only way you can't adjust it from the transmitter. So uh, leave this on at the moment and Put it beside lapel 2, please. 
So guys, basically uh, the input sensitivity or input gain from the transmitter, it's quite high. It's uh, plus 20 dB. It shouldn't be plus 20 dB. I've set them all to 0 dB. Uh, but the only way it works with AKG is I have to actually get it synced from the receiver. I can't just change it from the transmitter like Sennheiser or Shure. Okay, so lapel 3 please. Yeah, sorry, 4. So 0 dB. So this is quite low as well. Just going to put same high pass filter on this as well. Paste. And uh, I'm going to go back to make. If you keep speaking, please. Okay, so just going to paste now. This is lapel 4. Okay, next one, please. Okay, so this is the last lapel. Yeah. Okay, I have to adjust the head gain here. Okay, guys, the way it is set up at the moment is um, I can't adjust the head gain from the Yamaha because another device called Clear One is doing the DSP, the way it is set up in this venue. So what I'm stuck with at the moment is getting it, getting the levels lowered on the output side. Okay, so yeah, Chris, if you speak, please. One, two, one, two. Level six. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, welcome to the crystal. Okay, there you go. One, two, one, two. And Dusty speaker. One, two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the crystal. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, ring out the microphones. All right, guys, so what I've done, I've uh, decreased the input uh, gain from the clear one device. Uh, uh, for the microphones that I can't control the head gain off. Uh, okay, so next what I'm going to do, I'm going to ring out all the microphones while they are switched on. Uh, Chris, if you can please speak into uh, microphone uh, lapel 6 again, please. Okay. As you can see, all the microphones, they are switched on. And uh, let me just get the. Okay. As you can see, there is a hiss already. So let's try to resolve that. And here's my graphics EQ. And this is switched on. Okay. So I'm just going to start with 20 hertz. Okay, bring it back. Yeah. Keep speaking. Guys, let me just turn on RTA as well. Yeah. Just keep speaking. Okay. Stand here. Um. Yeah, Chris, keep speaking. Uh -huh. 
Okay. All right, guys. So I've done my audio setup for the event, and uh, basically these guys they're gonna be doing the audio and camera work uh, for the main product show, which is down here, right there. So from them, I'm gonna need an audio feed coming into my desk, and. Uh, in return, I'm going to provide an audio feed of what's going to be happening in this auditorium right here. And uh, that audio I'll, I'll be recording as well. Uh, so, uh, if I get the chance during live event uh, to show you guys, I'll show you that element. But this is the product launch and uh, they're going to be doing all the audio from down there and stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to show you the uh, live event as well. Okay, if you like this video, please click on the like icon and please subscribe to my channel.